Welcome to Flyboy episode 10. Well today is a bit of a, you could say a bit of a boring episode um, because I've come to the red cliffs here in freshwater and I can see behind me some people flying but I've actually come here not to fly. What? I've come here to ground handle and on my back I've got the new play wing from Greg Hamilton from his little manufacturer in the uh, little or big I don't know in South Africa so I'm gonna give it a go it's the first time I've tried it the winds a little bit on the light side but let's get it in the air and see what it feels like and have a play with the play so I'll be giving my feedback on the wing hopefully getting some footage of it and uh, let you know what I think of it and whether it's worth the money so okay see you in a minute here called Kevin who's just uh, just nearly finished his um, CP so I think he's going to fly off. There he goes. <laughs> Keep going! There he goes. There we go. Fantastic to see the beginners learning. Look how small it is. <laughs> it's so small. So you've got some big chunky risers here. I mean they are pretty standard like a normal power glider basically. And sort of fairly thick sheathed lines. And we come over to the cells and you can see it has got sharp nose. So you still need to pack it away carefully but look how small she is do i really want to fly at well obviously it's not for flying it's not for flying let's get it in the air oh, that's so small It is really small. Need to pull the A's with the play, you don't, you just you just step backwards. <laughs> she's straight up. You can see she just comes straight up. Airwave Voodoo made in 1991. But well, I'm not going to fly it. Oh. Hello there. Right. 1991. Woo. It doesn't feel very fast. <laughs> Well, 
Right, so what do I think of the play? Well, I think it's, it's brilliant, um, but it needs strong winds. So I was just playing about in very light winds here at uh, the Reds, and uh, it's really, really fun, actually. It's very responsive. Um, with the trimmers off, as in full speed, um, released, it's, it's really, really even more fast. And I'm definitely going to use it to find my way up the hill, up the cliff. Definitely I'm going to use it, but uh, it's going to have to be strong winds. But I also think it'll be useful for teaching my kids to fly, because I've got two young children, and um, I think uh, it would be perfect for them. So I've actually already bought a child's harness from Paddy, and uh, when they're a bit older, I mean, my my, uh, my daughter's eight, so I think she's probably old enough to, on a place like this on the beach, where there's loads of space, she would definitely be okay to play about with it. But uh, yeah, definitely like it. The voodoo, as you can see, I was playing with the voodoo. Yeah, definitely out of trim. Really felt like pulling a mattress up. Um, so I definitely uh, don't recommend getting a voodoo. I mean, it's... Uh, Airwaves wing 1991 <laughs> so uh, yeah just trying to get rid of that actually ground handling but if you think about the two different wings the old 26 meter voodoo which I could hardly pull up to be honest it's absolutely useless as a ground handling wing because it's just too too big and too slow and it, you just wouldn't learn anything from it realistically it would be only worth something for someone to... Well, I don't know if they'd want to ground handle it, but it's not really practical. Whereas the play is, it's a fantastic little thing. And um, I think my only concern is that I might be tempted to fly it. So I shouldn't do that, but I probably will one day if it's really windy. And if I did fly it, it would only be like off a cliff or something uh, in a very safe, environment someone flying someone's learning to fly so well thank you for watching this short little episode and uh, don't forget ground handling is really really important and um, that's why Greg Hamilton is selling these play wings because he understands the importance of ground handling you've got to practice 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 because uh, that's why I want to I want to get good at um, dealing with strong winds. So I'll take that in, in the stronger winds up to I don't know 40 kilometers an hour and just play and that's what it's for. Okay, I'll see you on the next show. Thanks for watching.